Hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one. This is a late night quick shot. Just gonna get this one done before the day ends. It's Wednesday when I'm filming this. Um, I've got other videos in the tank to edit and put forward, but um, just wanna get the quick shots up and running and get through them. And this one here is, what is it, 252, VC252, and it's Morak, Boba Fett. Um, here's the thing, right, I don't have it loose. And legitimately, I only have this one figure. I, for whatever reason, I don't have one to open. And um, a few people have said that this is the best Boba Fett. But I knew that I wouldn't want to have him loose because I knew that the Tatooine one, the one that came in the deluxe set, is pretty much the same figure. And But I kind of doubted myself because people were saying how good the Morak one is. But it is the same figure. There's nothing to it. The only thing that's different is the tassel there. You know what I mean? Everything else. I'm going to put them side by side right now. They're the same. And also, here's the thing that really gets me. And it's bad that they did this. Because the Black Series one had it. But this one here should have scorching on his head. Burns. Because it's pre back to tank pre back to tank and as you saw in Mandalorian Season 2, he was injured and you could see all these weird kind of like, like where tentacles had been, which is obviously, yeah, the, the Sarlacc pit, everyone kind of like read between the lines of the wounds on his head. Um, but I know that the Black Series 1 for Morak or whatever from that period of Boba has got some damage. I saw it in Forbidden Planet. I don't collect that Black Series, but I definitely saw that. A Boba Fett figure. I think it might have been a Nomad. It might have been a Nomad Fett, in fairness. But anyway, um, they chose to just give you... It's a great figure, this, by the way. I reviewed it ages ago. Bear with me. I'm going to get the helmet off. It is a great Boba Fett, this. I, re I reviewed the um, Deluxe ages ago. Just that likeness is just so good. And, um, wow, that's good, articul good articulation. His head can look right down like that on that double hinge. It's a great fet. And so, again, someone was hyping about the Morak version. I think it was you, Rue. <laughs> you said it was your figure of the year, this. And um, I do like the look of this one with that tassel there. And I do prefer his appearance in the Book of Boba Fett. Nah, God, I'm getting so confused. I preferred his appearance in Mando Season 2. And I really wished that they would have left it there. Because I didn't like the Book of Boba Fett. I thought it was um, a real letdown. I didn't dislike it and hate it or anything. but Because there were loads of good bits. But I thought it was just poorly executed. Clearly rushed. And it could have been spectacular. Because Mandalorian was spectacular. And this figure is spectacular actually. Look at that. Um, yeah, no, actually, there is a difference in the, yeah. How can everyone say that this one's better? Look at that one. This is obviously, he's got left, he's got weathering on that one there. And I prefer Boba Fett with a weathered helmet. In fact, when I watched Mando season two, just after they got the armor from um, Cobb Vanth. Is it Cobb Vanth? Yeah, it is Cobb Vanth, like the cowboy guy. Um, I love, the, I love Boba Fett's helmet in the original trilogy because of the fact that you can see the, Paint chips and blah de blah. But um when he painted it, I was like, oh, what have you done that for? <laughs> it's too new. And you can even buy this helmet in the Black Series, but no way would I want to buy that helmet compared to the Empire Strikes Back one. But um alas, so this one I think is better because of the fact that, well, it's tidier. He's got that sort of uh, almost like a clone there. That thing, the skirt. But this has just got that. So that's the remnants of his um, Tuscan garments. But um, yeah, well, you let me know what you think is the best. But I personally think it's this deluxe one. I think it looks better. And um, it is it is the same, isn't it? So um, if I did have another one of these, I would have opened it. Because I like this one so much, I would have had both versions somewhere along the line in my loose room. But as it happens, I only have that one. It's crazy because I've got tons of other figures. Madness, isn't it? You know what I mean? I've got like loads and loads and loads. 
of other figures knocking around the place like a shed load of god i can't even think where they are now um i don't know mandalorian super commandos way more than i need of him but the way the cookie is crumbled with whatever i've bought i only have uh one of him but again it doesn't really matter because uh, i do actually have a few spare of this so i don't know what he's going for on ebay maybe i could do Give one of them away at some point in the future. And yes, I have this in the background here. This is the Retro Collection one, which we saw the image of the card back for this is something that came in the public domain first. And, um, you know, the nostalgia in me would be interested to have this loose, actually, because, you know, the top half is the fat of the 80s and then the bottom is, well, whatever, you know, just to match how we looked in the Mandalorian season two. But um, so forgive me, this video is not... You know, 100% accurate because you're not looking at the figure loose, but you kind of are. But let's just enjoy this one again. This is the deluxe Tatooine Boba Fett. And I would like to see them put that on a card back. If they did do... Excuse the chair in the background. Let me just shift this over the way. If they did put him on a card back, this one, it would be nice if they had the one with, without the helmet. You know, from the trailer. When... Oh, come on, man. Hold the focus, will you? You know, when he's outside the uh, club with uh, Ming Da Wen. Ming Da Wen, the Ming Da Wen. Uh, Fennec Shand. Because he does take his helmet off a lot in that series. And um, it's just a good image, that. And it would just advertise how good the head sculpt is as well of this figure. And uh, that's all I can really say. I'm sorry, I've darted around here, there and everywhere there. But I just wanted to just talk about, you know... I don't know, man, just a few things that it's a great uh, figure, great facial sculpt, as I say. And that does match how he looks there because he's just had a fresh spray paint. And this one here, as I say, just sort of matches up how it was in the uh, Book of Boba Fett. But um, alas, same figure, more, more or less, except for that. And if there are any other variances about the figure, please do let me know, as in what's different about it. I'm assuming that weapon there, I can't remember if he has it or not. Yes, he does, actually. He's got something in his holster there. Although that's got a brown handle. I suppose that does as well. And, um... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Boba. Um, great figure, though. So it's one of my favourite Boba Fett figures ever, that, actually. And also what's really good, although he has just fallen over, is the peg stands are pretty... Well, they're deep enough. <laughs> there you go. Just looking down there. Anyway, thank you for that. Ladies and gentlemen, do let me know what you think, what your thoughts are of this figure in the comments. Thank you for watching. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One.